Fatigue is that you cannot get out of bed. You just don't have enough energy to complete a task. That you normally do the laundry, you normally wash the clothes, but all of a sudden you notice, wait a minute, I can't even do a complete chore without having to sit down and rest a little bit. Before you know it, a whole day has went by. Anybody can relate? That is called chronic fatigue. You need to go and have some lab work done. Thyroid can be equivalent to that. What about those emotionally triggers? Especially us ladies. If you notice yourself very emotional and you feel like everything gets you and you're so tense. And I know because my son will tell me in a minute, Mom, it's not that serious. To me, it's serious. But when you find yourself it's very emotional, you need to write that down because women and men over the age of 40, you suffer from something called hormone imbalance which means you need to go have blood work. So as you age, I know even though I don't look 46, but your girl is. <laughs> but your girl is, class mate, represent 1940, <laughs> class of 1994. But when you look at yourself and you realize that you're having these symptoms, you all, I didn't know they were symptoms only until I went to the doctor and I want to know, how did I get on this medication? How can I get off the medication? The traditional doctors, they want to keep you on the medication. But a holistic doctor, he help you find the root cause. So I want to help you find the root cause on men, those of you over the age of um, 40, you start losing testosterone. Testosterone is when you don't have the energy. It, 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 it affects your sexual performance. You need to go have your lab work done because as you start dipping, you need to know like how did I, can I get my stamina back when I was 20 years old. A lot of those are in we don't like to talk about it, but we do need to, you do need to have your consultation with you a nurse or somebody that can give you your true answers. And not going to the store, getting the latest trend out, I think it's called honey, or being the latest trend out for Little Boy Blue. You don't want to keep taking those things, getting, getting you a risk, a higher risk of having a heart attack. And you all, I'm sorry, but I have had men to come in the hospital only until later on do they go ahead and admit what they have really too. And then we had taken the surgery because they had a tent up. I know there's kids out here and they couldn't put the tent down. <laughs> That's happening. That's happening. So again, when you are looking at your I mean when you're looking at your health and you want to know, I talked about your hair, we're just going from like from head to toe. You notice that you have chest pain. Those of us sometimes in a gesture. Indigestion happens when you eat your food so fast, especially those of us on a job, we only get 30 minutes to eat. We are gulping in get, um, air, and when you gulping in air, air, you can get what they call trap um, gas. Trap gas feel like a heart attack. I ain't never had a heart attack, but I feel like I was about to die. And I just need some relief, but it's no cure for that. You have to be able to watch it. You take eating a lot of gassy foods, and a lot of gassy foods would mean eggs, a lot of gas foods, especially if you try and transition your diet to like plant-based, you need to be very mindful of what it is that you're eating so you will be able to go to the bathroom. How many of you, I just gave you a list of foods, go to the bathroom every day? Okay, my young people say they go to the bathroom every day. But those of us over the age of 40, our intestines start slowing down. You need to be going to the bathroom every day. You at a high risk of having all the chronic health conditions that I'm talking about, even with cancer, because you are eating these foods, you are not emptying your gut, and it's staying in you for some time. I had one man come to me, and he had not used the bathroom for two weeks. And you wonder why a lot of us looking around in the middle section is because you're not going to the bathroom, and you really is full of, you know, what the word is. <laughs> so, to help you with that, I want you to all to start going to get something called flex seeds. I want you to start, and it's F-A-L-A-X. And y'all can inbox me on Facebook in time. But I want you to start eating that flexi, being I put mine in my smoothie. But I want you to start getting regular because if you start losing weight and if you start having good gut health, you can start not only getting your stamina back, but reduce your risk of these chronic health conditions. Because again, I just told you some of these other problems, but 80 to 90% of your health condition is coming from the gut. What you put in your stomach and it's not um, digesting, and you're keeping it in your stomach, and think about how many times do you really eat? So if you're eating breakfast, lunch, a snack, dinner, another snack, and some, sometimes our snacks be another dinner, and then before we go to bed, we eat another dinner. So because you're putting all that food, I want you all from now on to have your cutout time. Your cutout time, in Juneteenth, they couldn't have, they had to eat what was there. 
at the time that it was given to them because they didn't know when they were going to eat anymore. So that's why he said many of them had health conditions, but it was not documented because they wouldn't let them go get treated. So some of them had to die prematurely death because they couldn't go get seen about. I'm just telling you, especially those of us are African American, we need to start going to the doctor, be more health conscious about what we're eating, not being okay when you walk by the mirror, that when you're looking at yourself and you're saying, hey, I don't like myself, and I'm talking about in the new presence by yourself, then what are you willing to do about it, especially if you want to reverse what it is that you get? Because again, if you continue that trend, and I mean that trend, you never do change. Having a large stomach is immediately whether you're gonna have diabetes, and if you want to know that you already have diabetes or at risk, all you got to look at is the discoloration around your neck, the discoloration in your armpit, and the discoloration around your vaginal area. When you start seeing those darkened areas and just look like your neck is black, those are high risk of some of the um, characteristics of what a diabetic person look like. And so these are indicators early before you even got to get diagnosed. Because some people just think, oh, well, I can eat all this candy, what about I just called out macaroni? Macaroni is a high starch. And because macaroni is high starch, meaning it's very hard to get, to be able to digest it. So let's build us a plate. Anybody want to give me a plate? I'm just a Sunday plate. And because I see my church members here, let's give me, I want to do a homecoming plate. Any volunteers to give me a homecoming plate? Tell me what's on it. I'm going to act like I'm scooping it up and I want y'all to visualize a plate. So tell me what I have. Macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese. Potato salad. Potato salad. Green beans. Green beans. What else I heard over here? Baked beans. Baked beans, okay? Collards. Collards, okay? Oxtails, okay? Broccoli casserole. Broccoli casserole, okay? Rice and gravy. Rice and gravy. Fried chicken. Fried chicken, okay? Give me some, somebody in the back, give me a, give me a something to put on my plate. Some yams. Everybody got to have some yams. Sweet potato got to get on there. A rope. A rope? You got to have some bread. Hawaiian roll. Okay, so I got me a Hawaiian roll. Corn I got some beef. Got some cornbread. Got to have some cornbread. I got to have, got to have that with my greens, right? I got my macaroni and my rice, which are both starches. I got my sweet potatoes. Depending on what I'm going to add into the ingredients of the sweet potato, that's what's going to make it bad because the sweet potato is on the healthier side until I start adding what I'm going to add in my sweet potato. Some sugar. Some sugar. Cinnamon. What else? <laughs> hey, I love the start up. Can you tell them? <laughs> okay, so I just help y'all build your sweet potato on the things that we love to eat. Refined sugars is very hard to break down. When you're wondering why we diabetes, when you're wondering why Uncle, I'm gonna just say Uncle Jed, he don't have a one leg. You know why? Because he done had poor circulation in that leg. When you wonder why Auntie Bertha having to wear glasses because one of her eyes is kind of glossy. It's because she done had diabetes and she had that macaroni and cheese and she kept going to the church for seconds, getting her homecoming plate. Yeah. Can y'all make that visual? Do y'all understand what I'm saying? And y'all, when you look at your health and you see how much things that you add to your plate, that is the reason why we're having these issues with our health. Nobody taught me, only until I got to the doctor did the doctor tell me, and I got to, re I got to recondition your brain because everything that you've been taught, I got to remove that out you. The reason why he said meat was bad, you all, I am not a vegetarian. I just teach from a vegetarian lifestyle, especially when I'm detoxing. But when you're trying to leave meat alone, I want you to think, right now we're in recession. Some of the things that Juneteenth had to experience, we get ready to endure, whether you know it or not. Those of us who just couple paychecks away from being under, we're gonna have to decide medication over food. Is my time about up? I think my time, is my time about up? Okay. So because, because we don't have to make a decision over the food or the medication, we go, I want you to look at how they're preparing the food, which means whoever the animal keeper is, they're going to start feeding them cheaper stuff. When they feed them cheaper stuff in order to help them live, then they're going to come down the line and they're going to be able to give it some injections called steroids. Once they give it the steroid, they're going to take it somewhere else to beef it up because they got to go sell it at the sale. Once they get from the sale, they got to go to a butcher in order for him to buy it and then cut it up to look real nice. Because some of the meat might look like it have cancer, they're gonna give it another injection to turn it red. So it can be nice and then appealing to your eye for you to buy it. I just want you to know that when you go through that cycle like that, and you eating these oxtails, these cows, and any animal, just remember, be very conscious 
or where you buying it from because the cheap, the more we get into the recession, the more and cheaper they're going to get with our food, which means that's going to be a higher risk for us to die. My name is Angie, this is my time, and I am the badass company, Detox Streets. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs>